A foreign internal security, a foreign security, falls under the rules of the country where the security is primarily traded. Securities due from customers to complete sell orders must be bought and promptly after 10 business days from settlement. SEC rules require that exception reports be maintained for 18 months. FINRA Rule 3240 permits registered representatives to borrow or make loans to customers if the arrangement is based on personal relationship with the customer, in this case the fiancé, or is a member of the representative's immediate family. In the case of providing or receiving loans outside of the immediate family or a customer that is a financial institution which regularly provides credit, the arrangement must be pre-approved in writing by the member firm. A variable annuity is a retirement instrument provided chiefly by insurance companies and is not itself an investment company. It is the variable annuity's separate account that is a registered investment company. Structuring describes any attempt to circumvent the currency reporting rules, e.g., making multiple cash deposits of $2,000 on different days rather than making a single deposit that would trigger a filing with FinCEN. A firm has 60 days to secure the equipment and begin recording. The CAT rules apply to all order and trading activity throughout the U.S. markets for listed equities and options. FINRA has replaced the three-quote rule with a more general documentation requirement that requires firms to retain records sufficient to demonstrate that they have handled orders covered by the rule in accordance with their policies and procedures. Basically, when handling orders and securities with limited quotation information, a firm should seek out other sources of pricing information or potential liquidity, which may include obtaining quotations from other sources, e.g., firms the member firm previously traded within the security. If an introducing broker relies upon its clearing firm to route orders, it is the clearing firm that must do an order execution quality assessment. However, the IB must confirm with its clearing firm that it is, in fact, performing an assessment of its own best execution responsibility. Correspondence can be reviewed either pre- or post-distribution. Independently prepared reprints must be reviewed by a principal before distribution to ensure accuracy of the reprint. There are instances where institutional communication needs prior approval such as where the member firm's written procedures require it. Blind recruitment ads are always subject to principal review prior to use. The Securities Act of 1933 regulates activities appertaining to new issues of corporate securities offered and sold to the public. The Act is also referred to as the Full and Fair Disclosure Act, the Paper Act, the Truth and Securities Act, and the Prospectus Act. Its many names point to the purpose of the Act, namely to require full, written disclosure about new issues including Rule 156 which sets legal standards for marketing and sales presentations in connection with the sales of investment company securities. The Securities Act of 1934 points to the registration of stock exchanges and ATSs as well as provides for the examination of member firms and sanctions for violations of the securities laws. To monitor extension requests, FINRA requires clearing firms to file monthly reports within five business days of month end indicating which of its introducing firms requested extensions that exceeded 2% of their total transactions for the month. If an introducing firm has a ratio that exceeded 3%, it will be prohibited from any further extension requests for a 90-day period if it does not reduce its ratio by the next monthly reporting period. Each OSJ must be inspected at least once a year. SIPC assessments are generally based on the gross volume of securities business and will not be affected by how a member firm clears its business. Members are required to inquire of the SIC regarding certain securities coming into their possession as to whether the securities have been reported as missing, lost, counterfeit, or stolen. An exception is made for securities received from another member firm. Street name stock always requires an inquiry. Reports to FINRA on telemarketing supervision must be made quarterly. However, if a member firm is required to monitor telephone conversations, it must do so for all of its representatives, not just representatives from disciplined firms. The firm is obligated to launch an investigation into what was said. A person with whom a member firm has engaged in securities activities, such as solicitation, is considered a customer of the firm and the firm is required to batch submit all written complaints involving associated persons or the firm through the firm gateway to FINRA by the 15th calendar day following the end of the calendar quarter. Note that this variable annuity is a security. 
Had the product been a fixed annuity, it would in that case not be considered a reportable complaint since FINRA Rule 4530 only applies to securities. If the complaint involves allegations of theft, misappropriation of funds or securities, or forgery, the member must promptly, not later than 30 days, report this to FINRA. Based on a change to the rules that went into effect in March 2022, a temporary hold placed on a senior account will generally expire not later than 25 business days after the date that the member first placed the temporary hold on the disbursement of funds or securities unless it is otherwise terminated or extended by a regulator or a court of competent jurisdiction. In the latter case, it may be extended to as long as 55 business days from the initial date of placing the hold. 